आज ही डाउटनेट ऐप डाउनलोड करें डाउटनेट पर होगा अब आपके सभी मैथ्स केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स और बायोलॉजी डाउट का सफाया बस अपने क्वेश्चन की फोटो खींचो उसे क्रॉप करो और तुरंत वीडियो सोल्यूशन पाओ डाउनलोड नाउ हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो द क्वेश्चन इज प्रूव दैट द स्ट्रेट लाइन जॉइनिंग द ओरिजिन टू द पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ द स्ट्रेट लाइन एच एक्स प्लस के बाय इज इक्वल टू टू एच एक्स ओके सो वट इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ द स्ट्रेट लाइन ओवर योर एच एक्स प्लस के बाय इज इक्वल टू टू एच के एंड द कर्व एंड देर इज वन कर्व विच इज एक्स माइनस के स्क्वेयर प्लस वाई माइनस एच ब्रैकेट स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू सी स्क्वेयर आर एट राइट एंगल्स इफ एच स्क्वेयर प्लस के स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू सी स्क्वेयर सो दिस इज द कंडीशन एंड दे आर सींग दैट द लाइन जॉइनिंग द कर्व एंड स्ट्रेट लाइन आर एट राइट एंगल okay so suppose we'll just consider this little diagram so if uh, this is a curve so let's consider a circle with a uh, uh, h n k with the point h n k and this is the intersection of the curve so the intersection of the curve what they are saying the straight line joining the origin to the intersection of a straight line and a curve so the the both of these lines are joining to the origin and this angle they said that it is a right angle that means a 90 degree angle so by practically like with the diagram it's not showing that it's 90 degree but we have to prove that it's 90 degree with this condition which is at square plus k square is equals to c square okay so we are going to solve this sum with the help of a method known as homogenization which is homogy homogenization now what is homogenization so in homogenization what do we do we do the degrees or the power of each and every term in the equation c like x y okay these variables so one one is 3 second is 2 so what we do we have to make the power same everywhere okay so what we are going to consider the given equation of the curve so it is x minus k bracket square plus y minus h back bracket square is equals to c square so when i expand two two of the brackets so a square minus b square formula which is a square minus 2ab plus b square plus a square minus 2ab plus b square is equals to c square okay so now collecting the square together uh, the square terms together so first of all i'll get x square plus y square then collecting the x and y terms together so minus 2 i'll take common and then i'll get kx plus hy okay and last the constant i get x square plus k square plus h square is equals to c square okay now rearranging the terms x square plus y square minus 2 bracket kx plus hy plus k square minus k okay, square plus h square minus c square is equals to 0 okay students so here you can see that you have got three different terms with different different parts so this one has a power 2 this one has power 1 what powers we are considering we are considering the powers of x and y and this the th third term is a constant with the power 0 so as we have adopted the homogenization method we have to do the powers same so how are we going to do the powers same so let us consider the equation which they have given the, the straight line which is hx plus ky is equals to 2hk yes so if i solve this so i would get hx plus ky upon 2hk is equals to 1 correct now to make the degree c so this one i'm going to multiply with 1 and this i have to make the degree as 2 so 1 to the power 2 so this one is nothing but this one which we have got over here okay now further solving this what i'm going to get the first x square plus y square will remain as it is minus 2 kx plus hy as it is i have to multiply this by 1 so 1 is nothing but hx plus ky upon 2 hk clear yes and the third constant term the degree was 0 i have to make it as 2 so 
I will write this constant term as it is and I have to multiply it by square of 1. So square of 1 means hx plus ky upon 2hk bracket square is equals to 0. Okay, clear? So now here we did the homogenization method. So if you check everywhere, the power or the degree of x and y are same. Okay, next. Another thing they have given us that the lines are perpendicular. They have right angles. So if the lines are perpendicular, what is the condition? A plus B is equals to 0 is the condition. That is nothing but coefficient of x square plus coefficient of y square is 0. So what we are concerned with? We are only concerned with the values or the coefficients of x square and y square from the above equation, this equation. So if I consider the coefficients of x square and y square. So first it is 1 plus 1 minus. Now if I consider this, so see this part, this kx and this x. So it will become 2hx. Uh, so 2x squares coefficient will become 2hk upon denominator 2hk. Then again minus, if I consider y, this is hy, ky. So it is going to become 2hk upon again 2hk. Okay, now plus again. I am only concerned with coefficient of x square and y square. Next, here I am going to get two different terms. So this uh, k square plus h square minus c square into first I'm gonna get if I'm considering h so only this part will come so it will give me h square upon denominator will be 4 h square k square correct and then plus the another now the y coefficient so it will be again k square plus h square minus c square so this will give you k square upon 4 h square k square is equals to 0. Okay. What we did from the above equation, we only took the coefficients of k square, uh, x square and y square. We didn't expand it everything. Here it was x square. Okay. Now, if I solve this part, so what I'm going to get, see, this and this get cancelled. So here it will become 1 and 1. So this 1 plus 1, 2 minus 1, 1 minus 1. 0. So, this everything will be 0. Okay. Now, if I consider this part. So, see here k square plus h square minus c square. If I take common from this part and this part and in the bracket, it will give me h square plus k square and the denominator, which is the denominator 4 h square and 4 h square k square. When it goes to here, that means it gets multiplied with 0 becomes 0. Now, this is the condition which, which I have got. So, here you can see this part, which is h square plus k square. This can be 0. If this is 0, what will be the use of this equation, right? hx plus ky is equals to 2hk. If here I put h0, k0 and again here 0, 0. So, this line won't exist at all. Right? So, this is, this part cannot be 0. So, hence we can say the condition is proved which is k square plus h square minus c square is equals to 0. Yes? I hope you have understood the solution. Thank you so much. Class 6 to 12 se ke need IIT JE means or advanced ke level tak. 10 million se zyada students ka bharosa. Aaj hi download kare doubt net app ya whatsapp ki je apne doubts 8400-400-400 par.